What's up, Baron? How you doing, man? What's up, bro? How are you? I'm good, man. You see a lot of mullets out there in Ireland, or are you the only one with a mullet on Irish? Uh, I've probably seen two or three mullets, maybe. Nice. Uh, you've had a hell of a run in Bellator thus far. Three and one, two finishes, three top five ranked opponents leading up to this fight with the number one ranked Fabian Edwards. Do you believe that a victory over Edwards on Friday night is the last ingredient to the recipe for a title shot at Johnny Evelyn? I think so, man. I mean, they've announced it as the number one contender fight, so I don't know what else I need to be told uh, to believe that. So I'm I'm hoping so. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, you got a whole crew to make the trip out to Belfast to help train and support you. Prickett, Jazz, Jelly, Linden. You even got Jake Sage and Goyce out there to round out the group. What can you tell me about the support system you have in place and how confident you feel going into war with these people by your side? Yeah, it's sick, man. It's always good to to have a good crew with you. Uh, me and Jelly came out here a few days early, beat up him for, for a few days, then Chris and Lyndon came out. So Jelly's getting a little bit of a break now. Um, yeah, it's sick, man. It's uh, It makes it feel like home. Like if it's just you and, and one other person, you kind of feel like you feel like you're away from home like you're you're away from everything but if you got a crowd with you it's it's nice it feels good definitely last one first time fighting on one of these island cards i believe how's your experience been thus far would you say belfast is a step up from sioux falls south dakota <laughs> uh sioux falls is a special place in my heart i've had a good couple of years there but uh belfast is pretty sick man it was cool to be here for saint patty's day um i wish i could have drank a couple beers but uh no it was, it was nice to have something to do or Jairus Stout after the fight. That's right. Thank you, man. Good luck. Thank you. Jay Anderson. I don't think it makes a difference. I, I've been saying this in like every interview lately. Like my first fight was my, my Bellator debut. That felt huge. The next one was short notice against number two in the division. That felt huge. The next one was against John Salter. He was ranked number four. People were kind of saying I might've got a title shot after that one. So that was huge. Then I lost that one. My back was against the wall fighting number four, Dalton Rasta. So that one was huge. So uh, they all kind of feel the same, man. Like every, every fight's high stakes at this point. Uh, I'm down for whatever, man. I think the thing is just that PFL doesn't have a, an 85 division, so they're keeping the 85ers over here for now. Thank you. Ken Chronicles Media. Hey, Aaron. Kay Williams for Ken Chronicles Media. Coming off of an impressive win against Dalton Rasta. Let's talk about the confidence level in approaching your next match against Fabian Edwards. Yeah, man, it's it's nice coming off a win, um, like a, a good performance. Um, yeah, I mean, every fight's different. Like, this guy's a lot different than the last opponent. Uh, again, every fight's high stakes. So, again, it's like nice coming off a win, but uh, you got to treat every fight as its own. Thank you. Santiago Santesh. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for the time. It's a big Canadian party on Friday. Of course, Jeremy Kennedy in the co-main event gets his title shot. You're in the number one contender fight. Could you feel this in Canada as well? And, and, and do you feel it as well? It's a big night coming up for Canada. Yeah, it's cool. It's always nice to have uh, fellow countrymen on the card. Um, and Jeremy's a cool guy and we, we chill a little bit and worked out together and whatever. So yeah, it's it's nice. Uh, and hopefully it uh, brings in more fans at home to, to watch the event. What do you think kind of Fabian Edwards is going to come out? He just lost in the title fight, got finished. W what kind of Fabian do you expect uh, on fight night? Um... I mean, I'm, I'm expecting the best Fabian. I'm training for the, the best possible guy to fight. I, I hope he comes out like a, a sack of potatoes and just falls down, but uh, I can't really expect that. So did you watch his fight against Gegard Musasi? Because it was pretty a shocking win. He kind of dominated Gegard on the ground as well. Very unexpected. What did you make of that performance? Um, 
I mean, it's hard to say he dominated him. It was a 25 minute fight. And I think there was probably like 20 strikes thrown in that fight. It was pretty uneventful. Uh, but yeah, he, he beat like one of the legends of the game. I think Gegard's a little bit on his way out. He didn't look the best. Um, but again, like I'm expecting the best Fabian Edwards. So uh, I'm, I'm prepared for, for everything. Cannot wait to see you perform again. Good luck on Fight Night, sir. Thank you. MMA Locker Room. What's going on, Aaron Jeffries? It's MMA Locker Room, part of Pub Sports Radio. How you feeling today? What's up, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, some things we talked about in our last week's interview, uh, we were talking about, you know, the commentary on Fabian Edwards' fights. Um, can you, you know, how some of the commentaries glamour over his fighting style? Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like they they like this guy. The, the commentary seems to like him in all of his fights. Uh, even just that last question, like talk, talking about dominant performances, uh, when some of his wins are pretty close fights and they're like super uneventful and he doesn't look super active but uh yeah they they love to talk about his skill set and again he's a skilled guy but uh yeah it seems like i don't want to say biased but they they definitely like this guy got it and another thing i mean the title fight on this one you got carl moore stepping in and you know sometimes some people say hey he doesn't have all those wins, but yet he's fighting for a title fight. Same could be kind of said because maybe his entertaining fighting style could be said about you. Uh, with this win, you know, they got you right there fighting for a title fight. What did you think about that actual title fight with Johnny Eplin and Impla Kasaganai? Who did you thought actually won that one? It was a close fight, man. Um... Uh, like I knew it was just going to come down to the judging, how how the judges are going to score fights. I think Impa, Impa probably did more damage and won on the feet, and Johnny controlled a bit more with the wrestling. So sometimes you see the judges lean towards damage and striking, and some of them leads, lead, lean towards control time. So um, it, it was very close. I think it could have went either way. Got it. And last one for us. Uh, so a lot of times, you know, the – the way that you plan a fight out in your mind doesn't always go that way once you step into that cage. But uh, what adjustments are you ready to make to make sure that you get your hand raised uh, this Friday? Um, ready for anything, man. Like I, I train every discipline in the sport. I've been in every situation. Uh, I've been in bad situations in fights in the training room plenty of times. So I'm ready for anything. Good luck this Friday. Thank you. Next question goes to Keelan McNamara. Hi, Aaron. Um, great to have you here in Belfast on this card. Um, I just wanted to ask quickly, and it's sort of building off of what MMA Locker Room just asked you there at the end. Obviously, you're fighting Fabian Edwards, who's an extremely dangerous, very explosive fighter. But you're a very dangerous fighter as well in your own right. And my question is, what do you see yourself doing differently that maybe Fabian can't that gives you the edge in this fight? Is there a particular approach? Is there a particular aspect of the game that you think you're just much better at than he is? What's the difference going to be for you on Friday night? Uh, he, like, if you watch his fights, he has a very clear path to victory the way he wants to fight. Like, he, he wants to have a kickboxing fight. He wants to stay at range and have a kickboxing match. Um, it's not really what I want to do. I, I think... I think I'm I'm going to rough him up. I'm going to make it gritty. I think I can out-grapple him. I think I can outpace him. I, I think I can break him in there. Great. And um, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you for the time and best of luck Friday. Thank you. Next question, Jay Anderson. Jay Anderson. All right, next question, Dylan Napoleon. What's up, Aaron? Hope all is well, man. Uh, this this uh, run that you've been on, you've had to stay real positive, stay to the course, use a lot of that mental toughness, if you will. Has the has the journey and the way that you've handled it impressed you, or is this something that you were already expecting and knew would happen? You know, it's it's been a tough run. Times where you thought you'd get title shots and stuff like that. Have you impressed yourself by your own mental um, toughness? Um, 
I don't know if I'd say it's been a tough run. I feel pretty, uh, pretty privileged to be here doing what I'm doing. Um, don't really stop to think about it all that much. I'm just uh, doing what I think I need to do, man. I just stay in the gym and train hard and take the fights that they give me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all you can do, really. Thank you.